only part of a knee joint is worn out, why replace all of it? That's the logic behind the partial knee replacement. This less invasive surgery allows patients to keep most of their knee joint, but say goodbye to their knee pain. It's so much simpler of an operation and a quicker recovery. To better understand this downsized surgery, consider the traditional knee replacement. The knee is really three joints. It has a medial joint, a lateral joint, and a patellofemoral joint. So a total knee replacement is when you are replacing all three. It involves resurfacing bones and cutting ligaments to access the joint. The technique is necessary if damage impacts the entire knee, but a subset of patients with limited damage or arthritis may benefit from a partial knee replacement. Candidates for partial knee tend to be younger. They tend to be people that have some type of injury to one compartment. They typically have angular deformities, like they are either bow-legged or not knee. The difficult part is that the other ligaments all need to be okay. Using a small incision, surgeons can work on just the damaged section, sparing supporting ligaments and healthy bone. There's less blood loss, less pain, and a quicker recovery. Typically, we tell patients who have a total knee, you're probably going to be out four to six weeks. But with a partial knee, it can be two to four. The partial knee replacement is frequently becoming an outpatient procedure, giving patients the relief they desire without the downtime they could do without. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.